everyone. It's Ross Kelly, CEO and sales associate with Love and Drillty in Vidalia, and this is episode number three of Simply Vidalia. Now, when most people travel through our city, they go down Highway 280 and they see an abundance of fast food and chain restaurants. But when locals think about local cuisine, we think about Steeplechase Grill and Tavern, a locally owned New American restaurant owned and operated since 1996. And today, my special guest is Sam Owens, the owner and restaurateur of Steeplechase Grill and Tavern. Sam? Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Good to be here. Well, I tell you, it's uh, still an hour or so before the uh, restaurant is due to open, and it smells amazing in here already. So, obviously, you've got your staff. They've come in already. They're doing preparations. We, we get started early in the morning. We get started about 8.30 every day just to be able to open at about 11. Well, good. Well, it smells amazing. Uh, just to start off before we dive too much into the restaurant, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I kind of grew up in the restaurant business. Uh, Went to college, worked my way through college in the restaurant business, and got out and decided this is what I wanted to do. So I started doing it after having uh, two restaurants and uh, two partners and landlords up in the Atlanta area. I got tired of both, sold out, and moved down here. Okay. Now, how long has, uh, again, Steeplechase has been here since 1996, but is this the original location of the restaurant? This is the original location of Steeplechase. Okay. Right. I had two restaurants that were similar in menu structure, you know, up in the Atlanta area. Okay. But I got tired of dealing with Atlanta traffic and gotcha. all that and was ready to have a family, so I wanted to come down to more of a smaller town area. Yeah. We definitely know that the people of Vidalia are glad that you decided to make that move and that you're <laughs> here. Now, tell me a little bit uh, about your menu. It's a, a, labeled a new American restaurant. Tell me about how your menu, a little bit about your menu. What are some of the favorite items on there, and maybe how the menus evolved over the years? I'm just curious. Uh, we just like to serve a little bit of everything, so we can, you know, appeal, appeal to a broad range of uh, clients, uh, from those that are doing, you know, casual lunch on up to who wants to have a a night out celebrating a birthday or anniversary and stuff like that. Uh, you know, being that we're in a small area and. Not a lot of chains around here at the time other than fast food. We wanted to be able to give something uh, that people could pick and choose and something for the whole family that they could come in and, you know, not limit themselves to just one cuisine. Good, good. Well, we know you have a, a great uh, large salad bar. You have pasta. I mean, you have burgers. You have steaks. You have some seafood. And every day uh, you run some specials. Tell me a little bit about your daily specials. Maybe some examples. Uh, well, daily specials really just kind of vary on what I feel like when I come in in the morning. Okay. Uh, you know, today we have, you know, we try to do a different soup every day, a different sandwich, a different pasta. Um, a lot of times if we're looking for new menu items, we'll, tra- we'll test them out on the daily specials and see what people's reactions are to them. And uh, if they're positive, we usually will put them on the menu the next time we come out with the menu. Okay. So that's kind of a marketing ploy, too. Okay. Marketing research. There you go. Well, I tell you, uh, being in any business for the amount of time that you've been in it, uh, especially the restaurant business, is, is definitely a feat. So congratulations. Uh, well, thank you. I know it's a, a tough business to be in, but you've obviously uh, mastered it well. What are the future plans for Steeplechase? I mean, is there you plan just to, to stay on, uh, continue going like you're doing for the years? Any chance of uh, maybe branching out? Any? Well, we thought of branching out. We've had a couple of opportunities to move to Statesboro or, you know, some of the other areas around here. Uh, you know, right now I'm kind of focused on getting my last child out of the school system. Okay. Uh, you know, once that last child gets out, we may, you know, when I don't have to be around as much or don't feel like I need to be around as much, we may look at expanding a little. But, okay. uh you know, right now we're kind of happy where, we're, where we are right now. So well, That's good. Well, it's obviously working for you. Uh, tell me exactly the, the physical address here. Where are you located, and what are your hours? We're uh, located at 306 East 2nd Street. Uh, we serve lunch Monday through Friday from 11 to 2.30. We serve dinner uh, Monday through Saturday from uh, 4.30 to 10. And then, actually, the bar is open all day Friday, starting at 11 o'clock, for people to come in and watch the uh, football games and stuff. We remodeled this bar a couple of years ago. I had a lot of TVs, and that way people like to come in and watch college footballs on the weekend. Yeah, well, it was a great renovation. I remember uh, how it was before, and you guys came in, and I tell you, it's really nice. It's uh, a great establishment. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, where we're sitting now used to be a parking lot. So. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I tell you, it doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. Was it about four or five years? Well, it's... Uh, when they we originally built this section of the restaurant on when they did away with the smoking law we built a screen porch okay uh, so the smokers still had some place they could go and eat and uh, smoke um, 
you know, as the years changed, we had more and more families that were coming in, and that was kind of getting away. And then when I built the screen porch, I, I made it so I could easily close it in and open it up to the restaurant if I wanted to at, any, at a later date. And that's what happened about three years ago. We went ahead and incorporated it into being enclosed and air conditioned. And okay, great. Well, lastly, Sam, what I want to do is just uh, allow you uh, to address the audience and just uh, give them an invitation to come on in and check you out. All right. Yeah, we're glad to have you. Come see us at any time. We, Like I said, we have a full-range menu. Please come see us. Well, there you have it, everybody. Uh, interview with Sam, uh, one of the original restaurateurs. Been doing business here for 20 years. It's a great restaurant. If you're local and haven't checked out Steeple Chase Grill and Tavern, which is almost hard to believe that you haven't, I encourage you to do so. If you're traveling through or planning to relocate here, I also encourage you to come check out Sam and the Steeple Chase Grill and Tavern. Sam, thank you so much for having us today. All right, we appreciate you being here. Thanks. Well, there you go, everybody. I'm Ross Kelly, CEO and Sales Associate with Love and Drill Team Vidalia. This is episode number three of Simply Vidalia. I'll see you next time.